So here's how you can blur a part of your screen on stream. You will need stream effects plugin installed. I'll include a link below. So just run through that installer and it'll add all kinds of cool filters and features that we'll use for other things in OBS. After you've installed stream effects, we're going to go to whichever object you have that you want to add the blur effect to, whether that's a display capture object or a window capture or game capture, whatever, any, any object that has whatever it is that has what you want to block or blur out, go ahead and go to that. We're going to right click and we're going to do filters. Now it's also going to be helpful if there's, let's say a chat box in a game that you want to block, for example, go ahead and open that game up and have that running while you do this. And that way we can get everything lined up. We're going to click the plus sign right here. We're going to add a blur. You can name it whatever you want to, whatever it's blurring out, or you can just take the default. It doesn't matter. Now, what we want to do is we want to change the type to Gaussian. Gaussian gives more of that blur effect that we like. Now you can change the size and that's the intensity of the blur. And as you can tell on the display, the more you add, the blurrier it gets. It gets really blurry if you want it to. What we want to do, but we don't want the entire object blurred. We don't want the whole screen blurred. We just want a portion of it. So we're going to check this apply a mask box. Let's go ahead and make this real blurry just for example purposes. So you can see what I'm doing and see a little better as we uh, move it around. So we'll do region. And then what we'll start doing is as you can see, you can do these sliders. These are adjust the left side. Let's say we want to this area down here is what we're wanting to block in this example. And we're just going to sit here and fiddle with this until we line that up. That's close enough. Top edge. Let's bring that down there. Right edge. Bring that to there. Ish. And bottom edge. And there you have it. And then you can adjust, you know, the intensity. So I would recommend, I would get it to where it just barely blurs out what you don't want people to see because while yes, the blurrier it is, the harder it is to make things out. If this goes away, you want it to be less distracting. So ideally, whenever you do this, you can go about playing your game. Maybe the chat box, for example, isn't always there. So if it's not super intense on the blurring, well, then it can be to where, as you can see here, I still have blur turned on, but it's not very distracting. You can't even really tell right now when it's like that. So I would try not to get too carried away with the blur intensity, but you can just kind of play with it and see. And then if you have a stream deck and there's different times where you want something to be blurred, but you, and then other times you don't want it and you just want to turn it on and off. All you'll do is you'll toggle this filter on and off. And that, that's all you'll do and you'll be done. If you want me to cover that, we can open up our stream deck software. I already have it installed, but you want to go to the stream deck store and you're looking for our Raiders OBS tools. I already have it installed, but we're going to want to install that. Once you have that, it'll show up over here and then we'll find filter toggle. Move that wherever, name it, whatever you want to and title it, whatever you want to the source name you're going to find the source and then in our case here it's going to be display capture and then the filter that's linked to the source so blur so after you've done that you'll have a button that you can just press on your stream deck that will turn the blur on and off so bonus points you know bonus information there that's how you can add filter enabling and disabling to your stream deck if you have a stream deck they don't natively have it i don't believe on the just a standard obs studio section of the stream deck software you'll just need to add obs tools bar raider install that so i hope this has been helpful if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below thanks